As much as I like the Sega Master System, one of my biggest complaints about the console is the lackluster sound the system sound chip produces, especially when compared to the NES. Sound is generally high-pitched and lacking the depth found in its adversary. However, things were a bit different in Japan. As we all know, the Master System started out life as the Sega Mark III. This system had an expansion port on the front, and one of the accessories taking advantage of this port also happens to address the sound limitations the Master System has. The FM sound unit added a Yamaha YM2413 FM synthesis sound chip. Despite being an add-on, a fairly large number of games include support for the FM sound unit. Games programmed for the FM sound unit generally sound superior to the stock PSG chip, with music comparing favorably to early Sega Genesis titles. Even better, the Japanese Master System has the chip built in, which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, the FM chip is not built into European or American Master Systems, nor was there any add-on to add the functionality. Strangely enough, the expansion port from the Mark III is found on our Master Systems, hiding underneath a plastic tab. For years, modders have added the FM chip to US and EU systems, with custom boards and a bit of soldering. While it does the job, it is beyond the skill set of the general public, myself included. What makes the mod even remotely interesting is the fact that FM sound code was actually retained when games were released in other territories. As it didn't make much economical sense to remove the code, most of the FM goodness has been sitting on our shelves this whole time. This brings us to the Sega Genesis. The Genesis and Mega Drive contain most of the Master System hardware, and Master System games are compatible with a passive adapter, like the official power base converter. And another interesting twist of fate, two of the pins on a Genesis cartridge slot are actually audio in. Clever modders like DB Electronics started creating boards, adding the FM chip to power base converter-like devices. These trigger the FM mode of compatible games, and then feed the FM sound into the audio inlines of the Genesis cartridge slot, and then out to your TV. Companies like Stone Age Gamer have repackaged these boards into full consumer retail products, like the Powerbase Mini FM, which I am using for this video. Normally on 5 games, I would talk about the 5 games featured, but on today's special episode, I'm about done talking. Instead, I'm going to play a clip of the game with the default PSG sound, then a second clip with the FM sound, allowing you to compare the difference. So with that, I present 5 American Master System games released with FM sound. 